rocks risers on Beaky. <coughs> it's on the phone, so sorry. I took some pictures. Probably my hand over the microphone. Sorry about that. Okay, Beaky wouldn't quite uh, turn all the way that way when uh, when I got them on. Notice they're still inside the tubes. I haven't decided if that's permanent yet or not. But this uh, this set, uh, the hydraulic clutch line and this bundle of wires was the issue. So initially, sorry, that's a good shot on my finger there. I removed that a zip tie right here, so both of those move freely. And that got the this electrical connection out of the problem. The hydraulic line was still there. I followed the hydraulic line down and I uh, took all the paneling off the side of Beaky here. And here's where the hydraulic line comes out underneath the fuel tank. Comes there, there's a zip tie there. And as we follow it down through here, we can see there's uh, another zip tie there. And another zip tie there. And then. There was a zip tie right here, and that tied it back to this frame element. All I did was remove that zip tie and uh, scooched it up. I didn't even have to, sorry for the quick turn, remove these zip ties. I just edged it through a little bit uh, carefully. It still has nice play. It's a little closer in between the air box and the whatever this is, which... I'm going to assume is some sort of electric actuator for an exhaust vent thing. It actually seems like it's under less strain. I assume that uh, that, that was mounted like that at the dealer when the dealer unboxed it. Sorry, I was kind of missing the point there. So what happens when you don't have a decent videographer? This is a tube. It runs all the way down here. It's a drip tube, so I'm assuming that if I follow it all the way up, it goes up to the top for the overflow. And I got a tube on the other side. I wonder if you followed any of that. Okay, I'll try again. Uh, there's the fill. This rubber tube comes out here and uh, down through here. Yada, yada, yada. And there's a lot of room to play with that tube as it, as it sticks way down. And it, thinking about cutting it back. I just hadn't got around to it yet. Um, but now I want to put a zip tie back on this just in case. Um, but I'm planning on just leaving that floating like that. Uh, it, it's stiff enough, rigid enough, kind of out of the way. A little, a little more exposed than I would like it to be. There's no cover panel here. However, now with uh, full lock on easily have plenty of play here. Um, I've thought about redoing this zip tie here so that that will sit nicely. And I found a oh, where was it? Somewhere on the net uh, somebody did a little pictorial of how to remove the throttle cable which normally goes over and reroute it. It's very very simple. So a little homage to them and if I do a write up I'll try to post a comment. It's real simple as it's a single throttle wire system. It goes through the back, hooks in there. It's one screw. Uh, I guess he had an older bike. He had to kind of pop this out a bit. Mine didn't. Mine has a squared off piece that just comes right out without an issue. And this is a 2012 any rate, so there's that. I'll zip tie that back and it's going to be perfect. However, this side, this side, not quite as happy with. People talk about removing, dropping the tubes. Oh, I'm doing it again. Not looking through the viewfinder. 
People talk about dropping these tubes and moving them to the outside, but as this is mounted right here, and I really don't know what this is, I guess I could change the angle or something, but it's something to do with my brakes, and I don't want to crack that open. So I can't really do anything with that. And I would think that if I... Can we even see that in there? As tightly as that is mounted just right there. If I would have these on the outside, I think that would be quasi-disastrous. However, right about here, again, you know why I'm not a videographer. It comes a little bit more touchy here than I'd like at full left lock. That's not full left lock, that's hitting the table. So let's see if we can't demonstrate that. that. You can see how they. I mean, they still have play in them, but they just they seem to touch a little more than I like. Here is another example. Just, and it's that brake cable. I don't know what I could do to give it a little more. Uh, flex is that brake cable starts here and is that long. Usually if something's really long you can go back and scunch and scunch like we did with the clutch cable but <clears throat> I'm just not sure. Um, so there I am stuck in uh, the world and not sure. But black rocks risers, I've had them on a Buell before I really liked the rocks. They're not all tightened up yet, and I have to rebalance them. They're too tight on the back and not tight enough on the front. But um, reasonably positioned. I'm hoping it'll work pretty good for riding, uh, sitting, standing. I guarantee that's much better position. Being 6'2 and having the arms that I got, it looks a lot better. At any rate, no, so far, no new cables, but a little bit of rerouting cables, so I don't have to replace them. Um, like I said, just skinching things around. I think, depending on the dealer you got them from and how they rigged it, that cable uh, for the clutch might have been long enough, because it might have been just shimmied up quite a bit, and now it has plenty of room. So, uh, somebody may not have a problem with that. Taking this off and rerouting underneath is an absolute breeze. It's a very simple, there's very few things to go wrong. Also I uh, played with it and I ended up rotating these forward because I don't need back so much as a one up. So uh, rotating these guys around, which if you don't know you can turn them one way or the other and it gives you about half an inch or something. I'll try and show a picture. Uh, to move it, f the pivot there forward, and then tilting them back, and I don't know. You can just play with it, but a good option, the little rotating ones. Real simple idea, but man, it's great. Like I said, I had them on my fuel, and they worked perfect for me. But to each his own. Everybody's their own options. All right, there you go. Bye.